Hello, my name is Damon Pie, and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Last time, we beat the game, again. This time, however, it was on Monsoon difficulty. Um, <laughs> I still can't believe that we managed to do that. I have not managed to do that since, I have to say. Um, but this time, we are going to try um, with a different character, however. I believe we are going to go with the mercenary as there is a unlock or achievement or what have you to beat the game with this character on unsuited difficulty. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I think I'm going to turn off spirit. Hmm. The thing about having spirit on is it makes us move faster and we take damage. Obviously, but it also makes them. Monsters go faster. I'm not sure if that cost the cost always a benefit. I'm gonna keep it on just because it makes it more it makes it more enjoyable, at least for me. Um, I'm hoping that we're not gonna have issues with frame rate this time. Um, if we do, I'm just not gonna bother because it's just too much effort and it makes the game less fun. I'll just figure out some time some other thing, and I might just play some other game and um, record that. So there might be more content coming soon, is what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, enough faffing about, let's get started. Um, we are on hard difficulty. Want to get some gold and going. I No, I haven't actually shown this character off before, have I? It's an interesting character. It's very um, much based on dodging out of the way of attacks. Um, your first ability, as you can see here, is just a simple slice. It does damage up to three enemies at once. It does it all right damage. Your second is a jump like this, and that will hurt anything that you hit. Uh, it will uh, do damage to anything that it's in radius to do. Um, it will do less damage, however, than your original, than this attack. Your uh, next ability is this, which is a dash. If you hit an enemy with it, you can do it. Uh, you can dash again, um, up to a maximum of um, uh, three times in a row. Um, and then your final one, which you just saw me use, is called Eviscerate, I believe. Um, you do massive amounts of damage. I think that's like 700% damage to a single target, mm. um, which is really good for single target. Um, the thing about the, um, Eviscerate and the Dash ability is you are immune while the action is taking place. Um, so yeah, it's a decent set of abilities. It's very useful, strong against small groups of characters. Against one, uh, maybe one, one to three characters, you are excel. Um, you do have, you, you have to be careful not to take too much damage because you. Um, as long as you can get out of the way of attacks, you're fine. But um, you're this is quite a squishy character, um, and it's it's not amazing. Um, it's definitely nowhere near as powerful as the chef, um, simply because of the um, lack of AOE. Like this, I mean, sure, the two of your effects, two of your attacks are AOE, but you have to get right in there to do them. This is the problem with melee characters, you have to be right in the thick of it. And while this character isn't the worst when it comes to that, thanks to the amount of dodge um, you can put out. I don't think there's any chests over here. No, I shouldn't have jumped down here. Um, due to the amount of dodge you have, it's not the worst thing ever, but you just don't do enough damage and you don't, you can't be, like, you're not always going to be um, vulnerable, so you do end up taking damage. So, I think the furthest I've gotten has been um, Molten Core. Um, which is not um, not awful, but it's, you know, you still got two levels to go and two of the hardest, so. Not too amazing, I'll just say. Uh, of course, it depends on what um, items and get and what have you, but. Um, yeah, one thing to keep in mind is your um, double hit, whatever it's called, your whirlwind, whirlwind, um, 
allows you to stop in midair to basically extend your jump, um, which is very handy. Um, it means jumping up the sides of ledges and what have you is a lot easier because you can use that to do that. So a little bit of handy. Plus, you can always use your dash to um, get a little bit extra movement um, forward. Um, let's see, which one do we want? All of these are pretty miserable to be honest. Bob wire. I think I've said what these do before. It gives you AoE damage and gives you randomly freezing to minions for 7 seconds. Prison Shackles is decent, I think. Not amazing, but decent. Um, so yeah, we're going to look for the teleport now that we have um, explained fully this character. I've, I think it doesn't really make too much sense to... Um, to spend to run through these levels on monsoon, especially the um, early ones like this, because the, the for multiple reasons. Firstly, items are really nice to have, um, but secondly, and more importantly, the, the, the levels increase so quickly in difficulty um, that it just really doesn't make sense. Um, it doesn't matter if you if you're speeding through it or not. It's very marginal difference. Let's see, we're only getting specials this morning, so. I don't think this guy's the hardest, but um, one thing which I'm doing, which I should not be doing, um, is using this on a single character because it's really just not worth it. Ah, uh, it's annoying. Let's see if I can just take that guy out without dying myself. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Because, so yeah, you don't want to use this ability on just one because it just does less damage than your original. There we go, I've got him then. Okay, so we can get this chest and get out of here. We'll um, use most of our gold once we've um, started the teleport to open those, those two chests, those two uh, randomizers. Um, at least that's the plan. We've got this thing here too. Um, I'm gonna leave him and see if I can find a teleporter now. It's getting a bit dangerous, my health is getting a bit low. We now have we have one regen thing actually. Um it's possible we won't be able to open all these chests. Um that's a hundred and at least another hundred for the two randomizers. Um so that's hundred that's three hundred. Um I'm not uh, let, let's, let's just let's go ahead and do that. Magmorin's pretty is not the worst with this character because you can just do this. But um, it's the other thing that's spawning you, which are the problem. So we're gonna take this guy out fast. If possible. Yeah, so these look how many of those jellyfish. Those jellyfish are actually a threat now. Ow, see that was half our health. We do have to be careful. Oh. See, that eviscerate really does not work well on the um, magma worm because it just does damage to one segment of him. So, yeah. Oop, mistake. He's got some damage in him. Just running, trying to avoid damage where possible. That's nice. Um, okay, let's sit down here while we don't have as many mobs and hope that. There we go. You notice that the magma worm, I'm not sure if I've said before, but the magma worm does not damage you if you're standing on him. Um, he'll only damage you on the initial hit and come down again. So when he's charging for you. Um, we've still got quite some time left. That was nice. Okay, focus on the magma worm. Oh, I was hoping to catch him on the way up. Um, and then we'll take out the minions on the way down afterwards. Uh, we do need to take out the jellyfish though. Before they become too much of an issue. I'm going to just avoid them for now. There we go. Jetpack, nice. Always nice to have jetpack. Ouch. I'm going to get somewhere where I can take out all those jellyfish. There's like a dozen jellyfish there. Um, wait here, see if anything spawns. Like something is. I'll just try to take. No, okay. I want to get somewhere where I can um, take out the jellyfish. There we go. So we've got 50 enemies left. 
not the worst. So we just have to wait for the jellyfish. Going to take him out with my dashes. It is cold dash, is it not? Blinding assault. Okay, my mistake. We will blinding assault them multiple times. If there they are. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have an item yet. Did we? Did the other ones just spawn? Ah, uh, nope. There they are. Okay, we'll take this one out. Take this one out. Now, if we're lucky, we'll be able to use this. There we go. Yeah. So those see those icicles already amazing. If you can, if you can take out um, like a few, like if say you've got like 30 guys on you, if you manage to take out 10 of them, the amount of damage that you do with icicles means that you don't need to worry about the rest, basically, because it's just you know it's like a compound effect. So yeah, definitely one of the best items. I think mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's the best, but it is one of the best. Um, Garden's heart is very good. It's one of the better. It's one of the best green ones, that's for sure. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, let's um, take out the rest of these guys and continue on. We have 23 left, so shouldn't take too long. I believe we got all the chests to the right. There's only those 251s and the two randomizers. How much gold do we have? 350. We might be able to get um, everything, but we need um, to roll really well on both randomizers. We'll likely end up getting both 50 chests and one um, of the randomizers. Or at least two items from randomizers, but we might not get anything from them. So we shall find out. I do enjoy playing this character. It's a really fun um, character to play. It's just not very effective, is the thing. It takes. I think it takes a lot of skill. Maybe my skill level's not just not high enough, but it's um, it's definitely a fun class. Just the amount of dodging you you have to do. You have to be on. You have to calculate exactly what every minion is doing and avoid all of it. You have to know when to use your um, your blinding assaults and when to use your invulnerabilities um, and when not to um, screw yourself over by falling off the edge of something. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not amazing with this character yet. So, but we'll get there. Possibly. We'll see. Perhaps this will be the run where we get to the end. My last two recordings I've done, I've um, won. So, and <laughs> there's been a lot in between where I have not done so. So, we already opened up one of the chests, didn't we? One of the 50 chests. Yeah, so we can just spam these. I mean, yes, there were drones up on top, which I am not bothering with getting. Um, and the reason for that is they are one of they are the crap, crappy um, beginner drones, which really are not worth uh, my time on on getting. If I haven't any extra money, which it looks like I'm going to, on the um, when we leave, I will pick them up. But the fact is, they die so quickly that you end up just wasting your money on them. Um, I'm not bothering. I don't bother prioritizing drones unless I see a healing one or we get past the um, crappy early ones, these 40 gold ones, because they have like less health than I do, which is um, saying something. See, this is going to be an issue for this character. Um, the only thing about Eviscerate is that it's one, it's one, um, one target damage. So all it is in a situation like this, get out of there. Is a um, it's invulnerability. That's all it is. It's survival rather than damage, which is still nice. It's nice to have, but it's not good enough to um, the damage is just non-existent. But that was good. So having this frost trinket could win us this game because it is just unbelievably powerful. Only thing that we need besides this to make me sh really um, optimistic about it would be to get 
and um, the jar, the ghost, the ghost of jar, jar of ghosts, jar of ghosts, jar of souls. Oh, I forgot that we can look. We did look over this way, didn't we? That's nice. Okay, we're getting the AOE. That's awesome. Um, we have checked for it. Yeah. So yeah, that's really set to be getting this much AOE. Um, barbed wire. Um, I think there's reflective armor. Um, and of course the frost um, emblem, whatever it is, ancient ice artifact. Because it's going to make this game, this playthrough, so much easier when you have items like that. Because that is where this character has issues, as, we, as I've said. Um, so we'll see. This might be a um, good run. This looks. Oh no, there is a thing there. I thought I could fall down there. That looked like some sort of bug. Um, Speaking of bugs, it looks like we haven't had too many issues with, um, what do you call it yet, um, with f frame rate. So, fingers crossed that's not an issue. Um, I didn't notice, ow, um, that last time, ooh, this is nice, that's, one, that's better than a jar of souls. Um, I did notice last time that my frame rate cleared up once we got to the boss and everything vanished, which is interesting. Obviously it makes sense that that would happen, but I wasn't thinking that something like that would happen. So, because I thought it was more based, uh, it's definitely something to do with the game rather than fraps, because stopping fraps didn't pause it. So the game is just having issues with um, monsters on the f map, it seems like. Phantasms, the bane of my existence. I'm considering not... yeah, I'm not going to summon the boss until I c take care of this guy because he's just disgustingly OP especially these guys because they can just destroy you what I'm going to try doing is grabbing a bunch of guys here and using the item and let's see how many we can get um, because this item we have is very very powerful um, especially when you get this many guys up and you can grab a rope like this um, see if we can't. There we go, that's very nice. We basically can take out entire armies of things. The more army, more monsters there are there, the more damage we do. Um, we didn't do a huge amount, but we did kill a bunch of things. Ow. Need to avoid that. Um, I don't know why I grabbed that. Um, maybe I'll do some damage while I'm running away. We've still got those, that phantasm on us. He's almost dead. Come on. Oh, we got a magma on us now. I'm just. I'll hopefully we can use this to kill it off real quick. That give us a bit more, and yeah, come on. Okay, we need to kill something now, though. No, it's gone. That's fine. Okay, I want to kill the magma real quick and then get the portal up. Come on, come on, come on, there he is. Almost dead, almost dead. Fortunately, all these guys are way too powerful for me to take out. I um, just want to jump around, take this guy out. Almost. Now, we still need to be careful not to die, though. Come on, come on, come on. That was. I couldn't get him there. Here. There we go. Another one. Sweet. And. Are you kidding? Come on. There we go. Okay. That was almost awful. Um, okay. Use that and just... That's fine. Get out of dodge. We just need to run now. Um, what you can do, perhaps, is just stick here and see how many things we can get and then just use our item. Except for we have jellyfish, of course. Um, always an issue on this map. Let's see how many I can take out. Myself, I think I judged that correctly. We have a lot of gold. I'm gonna use this time to grab these chests. Uh, that's decent. We've got two of those now, I believe. Yes. I'm gonna bait out the jellyfish. Okay. Mm this um, our, our A we take them out. Hopefully, take out these guys too. Yeah, 
these items are kick-ass. As long as we just keep jumping, it's a lot harder for them to actually hit us. And the amount of damage we can do is significant. As long as we get out of the way of that, um, our frame rate is dropping, isn't it? Mm. It's not too bad yet, but I'm sure it will be once we get more characters. Oh well. We are taking a decent amount of damage now. We've got 70 seconds left. Use that to get out of there. I wanted to take out jellyfish, but it's fine. I'm going to look for chests. Actually, while we're here, I'm going to take an opportunity to use this. Shit, it got us there. We have to get down in the middle. I'd go down and use my ice thing on some guys, but I would get owned by those things, because those things hurt us too. Um, as you just saw. So. Very, very powerful item if you're um, in the somewhere where you can use it. Go out of there. Knowing it slows us down. Oh, there's two um, greater wisps, ancient wisps. Okay, um, we're almost out of time actually, or almost at the point where time is not an issue. Now, I don't remember seeing too many chests. We did go over it, didn't we? No, we did. I don't remember seeing any. I might be wrong though, so I'm going to double check. Another thing about this game, or a annoying thing, is that um, there's no map. Um, not that you really need one. Oh, there was something here. Uh, I think I'm going to grab some health regen. Because, um, you know, you can see most of what you can see, and it's part of the game itself, I suppose, but it's um, that's nice. Still, it makes it very. You really have to have better memory than I do to um, to um, play this game effectively. Um, I mean, right now we're not even bothering about s s time, like I said before, just because we're already at difficulty impossible. So it doesn't really matter how fast we want to go. Um, the difficulty's not going to um, care, basically. It's better to get items and stack up on them than um, potentially miss out on useful items like the ones we got. Uh, I'm going to wait for the jellyfish to come to me and hopefully, there we go. Okay, we, our item is back up again. So I'm going to go head up and uh, I think there's only a few up here, so I'm up, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take these guys out. Um, the old-fashioned way, which means evisceration and ice shards. Goodbye. Okay, those guys were not too hard. Now we have these guys. I'm going to um, get into a good position. Which means over this way. I think actually, okay, so I'm going to go uh, right here and use this. I have just have to miss those um, missiles and we'll be good. See those the greater wisps, the ancient wisps are going down already. Bam. Yeah. Okay. Use those ice. Take them all out. Yes. Such a good thing. Look how many eyes. Look how fast these guys are going down. Fortunately, it does not last all that long, but long enough to um, be completely insane. Yeah. I'm feeling um, cautiously optimistic about this run. We are um, taking things out left, right, and center. We have a Awesome number of um, AOE um, items, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, I, we might not beat the game, but we'll damn near tr try. 
whatever the saying is. Okay, and we have 5,000 gold, which is more than I was expecting to have, I was saying. Um, and that's just going to go to experience, I suppose. I think there was an extra drone down there, I'll grab him. I think it was one of our originals. And then we'll be off. Um, and we are 21 minutes in. So I believe I am going to pause it here. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Bean Pie, and I will see you next time.